The Arabinos Opera, a dual positive and negative control phenomenon. E. coli can use the sugar Arabinos for energy. It has an operon dedicated to making what it needs to break down the sugar. This operon, just like the LAC operon, can be under either positive or negative control. In this case, the protein acts either as an inducer or a repressor, depending on the concentration of the substrate Arabinos. The genes ARA-A, ARA-B, and ARA-D code for the enzymes necessary to catabolize Arabinos. The initiator of the operon is a site known as ARA-I. The activator with an affinity for the site is encoded by the nearby ARA-C gene. Positive control. When Arabinose is present in the cell, it binds to the RSC protein, which forms a complex that binds to the RI site. When no RSC protein is present, RNA polymerase binds to the operon to make mRNA that codes for this protein. This mRNA is then translated by a ribosome into the RSC protein. With the RSC protein bound to the RI site, transcription can occur, but only at a very low rate. The same CAMP cap complex that operates in the LAC operon must also bind to the RI site. In this configuration, RNA polymerase has an affinity for the operon and begins transcription. When transcription is finished, the mRNA strand that codes for enzymes that breaks down a ribonose is made. The mRNA is translated into three enzymes that together break down a ribonose for the energy for the cell. Negative control. When arabinose concentration is low, the RSC protein, which has no arabinose attached, has an affinity for RI and also for RO. Since there is no arabinose present, the RSC protein folds the DNA and binds the RI site to the RO site in a hairpin loop that RNA polymerase has no affinity for. No polymerase, no transcription.